Hi, um, this is the second video on the tori removal. I had the tori removed on Friday and um, when I got there the first thing that happened was um, they had me uh, of course wait for a long time but then I uh, when I got called into the office I filled out uh, some paperwork and uh, uh, they just wanted to make sure, you know, that I had listed everything that I was allergic to. Um, and, uh, pretty much that was it. They called me back into the back, uh, office where the doctor and the anesthesiologist were going to see me. And when I was seen first by the doctor, I all of a sudden started to get really nervous and, um, actually started to even, uh, cry because... <laughs> hadn't had anything like this done before and I was I was really hoping my mom would have been around to have her with me it was that you know I was really getting that nervous they put something into my IV and um, it was supposed to make me feel more relaxed I, I really never I don't know if I really do well with those things because I don't really remember feeling any different but I guess it worked you know I mean I mean I, I got through it uh, they took me to the back room and uh, then they inserted an IV, and that's it. I don't remember anything after that. I woke up, and right away they want you to get out of there. So I, I, I was told to sit up. I was a little sore because uh, there were some things that I hadn't realized were going to happen. First of all, they, they put a um, tube to help you breathe. Uh, down your, uh, I guess through your nose. I'm not really sure where how, how it gets in there. I think it's through the nose. And uh, this way they have room to work on your, uh, on the tori. And so you don't feel it. You don't see it. it. It was gone. I didn't see it. I mean, you know, I never knew when they put it in or when they took it out. I just found out that it was there. Um, afterwards, you feel sore. Um, you're glad it's over with. I mean, for me, that was it. I, I, I never worried too much about what was going to happen afterwards. More like, you know, just beforehand, uh, you know, was I going to wake up from the uh, anesthesia? Because, you know, you have to sign that form that says, you know, um, that something could happen to you. So anyway, right away I went home. And I'll be honest with you, the first three hours after the surgery, uh, it feels kind of weird because you have that uh, some gauze in your mouth. Now I had it pretty bad. I'm going to show you. I don't know if you can see it too well. Uh, they're gone. This is the only one I had on the outside, and it's it gets swollen. Um, you'll. I guess the worst part about the healing is going to be underneath the tongue or wherever you have the toy removed it swells up like a grape it looks it looks dark dark red purplish almost um your tongue is kind of like laying on a cushion it, it, it and and then of course you feel all the little uh, uh threads from the stitches now mine was cut all the way around on the inside of the mouth and a little bit on the outside of this one side of the jaw you do get bruised up. You can see all the bruising underneath my neck. This was pretty swollen. And um, it, it, I mean, it looked like I had a huge double chin, really. It was really, really kind of, you know, I didn't want to look at myself in the mirror because, you know, I don't know. I, it just was kind of weird for me. So I didn't like that too much. And um, eating. Okay. I had the surgery on Friday. Today is Wednesday. Today was the first day I was able to really eat anything um, uh, that I, you know, that I had to chew. Everything else, I mean, all week long I've been having soups, jello, pudding, ice cream, things that pretty much just slide down because you you can't chew. I mean, the, the first the swelling is just so bad. Some in some points of the day, uh, yeah, it comes and goes. Swelling just goes, you know, it gets bad and then it starts to go away a little bit. Um, the uh, swelling gets so bad that uh, you can't chew. There's just no way you can put your teeth together. I mean, the doctor tells you you're going to have to chew. Oh, another thing. If you can get the liquid antibiotic and the liquid Tylenol with codeine, I don't know. I guess that's what they gave me. They gave me a penicillin 
uh, with um, potassium, I think, yeah. And then they gave me also um, uh, Tylenol with coating. You know, that's what they gave me. But I, I guess they have, you know, other, you know, other kinds of stuff that they give people for pain and also just for uh, infection. Um, that's what I was given. It was, um, I, I, I took the Tylenol with codeine up to about maybe yesterday was the last time I, I really was like, you know what, I have to take this every day. Today, I'm still sore. It's actually the first day I can talk and I still kind of sound funny. I don't know. Um, the swelling makes you talk funny. Uh, so I haven't really been able to talk too much. Today was the first day I ate something solid, and you think I would lose weight? No, I probably lost maybe three, four pounds. I don't know. That's probably about it. But then I, I ate everything with sugar in it, pudding, jello, ice cream. I mean, um, there's really not a whole lot watery like that other than, you know, I mean, I was trying to figure, you know, what could I have that doesn't have sugar in it? It, there's not a whole lot. So, anyway, um, as you can see, it's not horrible. The, the, you know, I'm glad they're gone. Hopefully, I'll be able to, uh, um, you know, I mean, I used to want to, I mean, if you want to yawn, I mean, just something like that. You want to yawn, <laughs> be be not so um, conscious about, you know, okay, okay, you're not supposed to yawn and have your mouth show. But, I mean, I was always conscious about opening my mouth and having those, things showing so I mean now I can yawn rudely <laughs> anyway um, so you know I hope this helps you out at least this is what's happened with me um, it's it's you do need the Tylenol you know I some people I, I read somewhere on there that somebody had the surgery on a Friday and they were back at work Monday they must have had one little tori I mean cuz I can see that if you have one, but if you've got them, if you had them like me where they were like all the way around the inside of the mouth and then that one on the outside, uh, you're going to need to take at least a couple of weeks at home because there's no way you can be back at work um, in less than a week unless you're not required to talk and they don't care if you got a cot in the back. <laughs> uh, there's just no way. So anyway, I feel better. And uh, hopefully this helps you out. I know I, I didn't have anything on, on YouTube to look at. And I was hoping that somebody would kind of give me their, you know, uh, be able to share. So, you know, you're seeing me at my worst. You know, I, you know, ordinarily I put some makeup on. But right now, I'll be honest with you, oh, I'm going to do it. So, anyway, hopefully this helps you all out. Okay, see you. Bye.